Hi everyone, I'm Maria. I'm Patrick. Welcome to our farm. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you can hit subscribe so you can keep up to date with what's going on around the farm with us. Hi everyone, I'm Maria. I'm Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's get started. <laughs> That's our calving and calf shed. And then the new cubicle shed beside it. And then the old cubicle shed. Welcome to the Gavin Shed. So these are our individual calf pens. We have five pens there for newborn calves. When the calves are finished in their individual pens, they move across the alleyway into the group pens with these rascals. So these are our group pens. Calves usually stay inside until they're a couple of weeks old and then they move outside. These probably ideally are hen calves, a pen. We have five in them at the moment because we're at the end of calving season. These pens used to finish where the timbers are and this year we just added this little feed area outside the pens. So it means that where they're lying is separate to where they're feeding. In all calf pens, they have fresh water, so fresh calf nuts, and fresh straw. So those are group pens. So all the cows calve here on this straw bed. This gate here is a calving gate. It can be used if a cow needs assistance with calving. It just secures the cow and makes it comfortable for the cow and safer for the person that's helping the cow. This pen can be split up into four pens, but we usually leave it as a group pen. And then it's right next door to the cubicles shed. When cows are getting close to calving, we can bring them up this walkway here. So behind me is our calving table. And to be quite honest with you, it is an absolute mess after calving. So I wouldn't even put it in here. You can see all the crap that's on it. But basically on a calving table, we have long gloves, short gloves. We have our calving book where we take note of all the cows that calve. So the cow, the calf number, the date, the time. We have ear tags for the calves. We have a bricks refractometer for checking the quality of the classroom. Oh, we have antibacterial wipes on our table as well. But yeah, it's a mess, so maybe I'll do a video of me cleaning it up. So this is our cubicle shed. We have 140 cubicles here. Uh, at the moment we have four cows in a cubicle shed. So they are just the last four that calved. They'll be going out to grass shortly with the rest of the cows. It's explaining it's giving me dirty looks. Give me dirty looks. Do you want to be on YouTube? So these are the cubicles. We have a few little cow dungs. We'll get the lady going. And she'll clean the place up. So this is our lady robot. She's looking a little bit grubby at the moment. I'll put in a picture here of when we first put her in and when she was clean. She's basically on a timer and she has different routes around the shed. So at a certain time, she will go and do a different route. Lazy Farmer 101. I know, she does a great job altogether. So basically, she keeps the shed clean all the time and it's much better for the cows because it keeps the cows healthier, happier, and we love her. We love you, Bailey. You're a great job. So we put her in 
um, let me see, two years ago, up until last, we were scraping all the slats, slats behind me, we were scraping all them manually, just with like um, a yard scoop, insert yard scoop here. So let's see this Lely in action now. This cubicle shed was grant aided, so it means we got a 60% grant on the cost of the shed. They're incentivizing farmers to upgrade their infrastructure, to improve animal welfare, to improve human welfare. So that's the shed. This past winter, we put in these cow kennel cubicles at the back here. We used to have a feeding truck along here. This shed was built by Podrick's parents and it was originally a slatted shed for cattle. When they converted to dairying, they put in these cubicles. This is our new feeding area we put in last autumn. Usually in the winter time, one of those big doors will be open back so the cows can come in and out. The silage will be lined up along here where the cows eat. We use the sheds probably from, depending on the weather, because if we get a great autumn, the cows might stay out till the end of November. It's anywhere usually between November and December, they go in and then once they calve in February, if the weather is good enough, they go out. Usually for the majority of the year, our cows are outside where they should be. survive <laughs> maybe <laughs> when the lights are on when the teams are training you can see you see the cows out grazing from the lights of the GA fields maybe we should oh, be a bit more good. natural yeah. Maybe it's a bit staged, a bit staged, I think. Yeah. And I think there needs to be a bit more movement. <laughs> oh, no, not too much movement. <laughs> oh, what do you think? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs>